piece of rolling sculpture they call La Bestione, Robocop's car, and a four-wheel drive vehicle with roots in aviation that we found at the SEMA Auto Show. All that and a whole lot more coming up right here on the best of the SST Car Show. SST is brought to you by Stark Auto Sales, home of the ultimate worldwide scratch and dent car sale. I'm Rick Walker. Welcome to the best of the SST Car Show. We've teed up some of the most interesting cars ever to appear on our program. Starting with this car, a four-wheel drive masterpiece that we found at the SEMA Auto Show, the, the best custom car show in the world. This thing was produced by Kenny Hawk of Hawk Designs. All right, I'm here with Kenny Hawk and his beast of a Jeep here. Um, I was looking at it. It looks like something out of Tank Girl. Can you explain a little bit about this to me? There's so much to it. Well, this is what happens when you cross a World War II vintage airplane and a Jeep Wrangler. And obviously, it's not just a crossbreed. It is a monster. There's guns on it. There's red lights. Where do you get the idea for this? Well, vintage aviation is, is such a cool thing. There's so many unique styles and unique pieces there. So we had a wealth of photographs and images to draw inspiration from. But, uh, you know, that old riveted up look, it, it, it's, uh, it's really cool. How did you piece this together? Well, we went to a lot of old vintage aviation places and eBay scouring, looking for parts that would, would fit our Jeep and really look cool. What, what's your intention for this vehicle? To drive it. To over drive rocks. it over rocks. That's right. And have you? A little bit. We we're going to do more as soon as we're done with the show. We just finished it moments before loading on the trailer and bringing it here. And do you also have intention on shooting people or shooting beasts or monsters? Because there's, and these are these are real guns. They are real guns, yes. No, they're for hunting purposes only. Do you have to get a license for that? Do you have to have a license, a no. gun license to drive this car? In Las Vegas, Jeep? you're allowed to do it, no problem. They have no problem with shooting people and cars and animals here, so. Okay, and, and these, the, the red light headlights, what's up with those? I don't know. It just came on. It just came oh, on. No. Okay, can we check out the inside? That'd be so cool. Absolutely, come Let's on. Let's go come along with us. So these are old vintage aviation switches. So go ahead and flip up the first two. I'm nervous. One, two. All right, so those are the covers. Now flip the switches underneath. Just one and two? Yep. Now the black button right there. Go ahead and push that black button. Go ahead and push the black button right there. <laughs> That was so cool! You wanna hit the gas? Is it in neutral? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and womp on it. <laughs> Alright, come check out the back. Baby got back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm seeing we got like some missiles and stuff here. What are these tanks? Is this the gas? These are actually vintage World War II era oxygen tanks. So this is what the uh, the pilots would use when the high altitude, they would be com have compressed oxygen in it. And these were actually our fuel tanks for the vehicle. That's pretty yeah. cool. All right, is there anything else you want to mention? Um, we hand built the seats to give us that old bomber look. And the, uh, the two World War II era looking bombs on the side, they're actually compressed air tanks. So we can air the tires up and down and use air tools on the vehicle. Oh, that is too sweet. The engine is an LQ9, which is a cast iron LS3, basically, mm -hmm. with aluminum heads, a twin turbo setup. Then we put a 4L60E automatic transmission to it, an Atlas transfer case. We took a couple axles out of the junkyard, <laughs> cut them up, and re-welded them back together to create an all-wheel steer axle setup for this. So oh, if you can check sweet. that out right here. This is a GM 14 bolt axle with an R-Tech truss and then we welded Dana 60 knuckles on the outside so that the rear axle can steer as well. This is all real aluminum 
It's 3 16 inch thick uh, aluminum. So it's pretty light. It looks heavy, but it's light. Yeah, it's fairly lightweight, but we actually hand bucked all these rivets to give it that old World War II airplane look. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We totally enjoyed having you on the show. Thank you very much. Back we go to Las Vegas to the SEMA show now with our own Brittany Alexandra, who takes a look at a very cool custom Ford pickup truck, an award-winning vehicle that they call Blue Ribbon. This is the 1979 Ford F-150, called the Blue Ribbon. It is equipped with a supercharged Ford racing engine. It comes with custom headers and a custom built transmission. It has a removable hardtop and suicide doors. You gotta love these extreme wheels. It has tons of chrome in the engine bay. A big SST salute to Mark Pollock and his team at Blue Ribbon Auto. Don't go away. When we come back, Shelby and I are going to take you on a tour of Tom Payne's garage. Tom is a custom car builder extraordinaire who lives just down the road from me in Blenheim, Ontario. Stay with us. Don't touch that dial. We have more SST coming your way. Bring back the excitement with these all-new Super Geeks retro video game consoles. Choose from the 600-game NES style or the 621-game SNES style. Super Mario, Street Fighter, Tetris, Pac-Man, and hundreds of other classic video games included. Plug and play on any modern TV and enjoy yesterday's classic games in full high definition. HDMI cable included. Systems come with two controllers. Order now from a real person at 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or order online at supergeeks.tv. That's supergeeks.tv. Don't be fooled by cheaper systems. Super Geeks systems use modern HDMI cables for modern full HD quality. 1-866-248-1490 Supergeeks.tv Supergeeks Retro Video Game Consoles Bringing the past into the future Register now for a better way to buy a car at StarkAutoSales.com Just click register for free and buy where the dealers buy Hundreds of insurance claim vehicles auctioned every week from Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Calgary and Edmonton Visit in person or bid from anywhere online. Stark ships worldwide. Parts cars, rebuildable wrecks, damage-free theft recoveries. Click register and save at StarkAutoSales.com. Watch movies, sports, and TV shows with no monthly fees. Get your Super Geeks Android TV box. Simply connect to your TV with the supplied HDMI cable and connect to Wi-Fi. Watch what you want, when you want, on demand in high definition, even 4K. A great alternative to cable, Netflix, satellite, and video rentals. Don't settle for a smart TV. Turn your TV into a genius with a Super Geeks Android TV box. Boxes start as low as $39.99 with full warranty. Pays for itself. Select from thousands of free online shows. We even provide remote service so you'll never be without your TV. Updates itself automatically. 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or order online at supergeeks.tv. That's supergeeks.tv. 
Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique chevs. No to tail fins, we have your parts. Call us toll free at 1 866 767 2787. Get help from a real person or go to antiquechev.com, download a catalog, order online, delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. Register now for a better way to buy a car at StarkAutoSales.com. Just click register for free and buy where the dealers buy. Hundreds of insurance claim vehicles auctioned every week from Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Calgary, and Edmonton. Visit in person or bid from anywhere online. Stark ships worldwide. Parts cars, rebuildable wrecks, damage-free theft recoveries. Click register and save at StarkAutoSales.com. Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. Good friend of mine, Tom Payne, takes old cars and turns them into something special. He's a custom car builder, an artist. He takes a look at a car, he sees new lines in it, and then he creates these things. They're amazing. We went on a tour of his garage in Blenheim, Ontario. Well, hi, I'm Tom Payne from Blenheim, a carpenter in this town. Uh, Rick asked me to do a little tour of my cars, so here we go. We'll start off with this Camaro. Uh, it's a 1980 Camaro, and for 11 years, they didn't make any convertibles. So I, uh, one of my tenants owed me some money, and he said, will you take this car in on trade? So I ended up uh, taking this car, thinking, what could I do with it? So what I ended up doing was putting a full frame under it. And since there was no convertibles for so many years, I thought I would make my own. So what I did was uh, I chopped the roof off after I put the frame in it, finished off all the detail as far as what I had to chop, and uh, I actually do have a roof for this. It's hanging in my shop right now on the ceiling. It made a very unique car, and everyone stops me now. And uh, I went to Chatham one day, and I, Taco Bell, and this gentleman comes running in saying, who owns the yellow Camaro? I put up my hand, uh, it was, it's, it's me, and uh, he says, I'm the president of a Camaro club in Michigan. I've never seen a convertible ever before. He said, would you mind if I get some pictures of it for their for their Facebook? And uh, so they ended up taking a bunch of pictures of it. I drove a little further, and another guy stopped me on the road, just waved me down, saying, oh, could I get some pictures of this car? So apparently some people know that there isn't any uh, convertibles made, and so they uh, they appreciate it. Now this is a, a Corvette and I have found with the Corvettes, I've owned many of them and they're pretty well, these years are almost a dime a dozen anymore. So I thought I would do something a little different with this one. I ended up taking, so I put the Lambo doors on first just to give it a little different uh, appeal. But with the Lambo doors, I, uh, I chopped the back, chopped the back off a lot of it and made the air induction give us a real wide stance. I like the solstice, Pontiac solstice always looks, so I ended up doing the solstice look on it. Then I thought, oh, I'm gonna do a little reverse one on the in the center of it. So uh, between the whole thing, it made a very wide stance. It's funny how people from the back and they see it and all of a sudden they say, oh, is that a Viper? I said, no, no, this is just a custom Corvette. Uh, it just again makes a, something a little different. And uh, I put a, a lot of ghost flames on it, very subtle ghost flames. So you can see it in the right light, you can see the flame. If it's in the other light, you can't. Now we're going to shift to this one. I've had completed for 25 years. My wife drove into a job site once where we were doing a roof. We're up on top of this guy's roof, and uh, I looked down. She had this 74 Pontiac Laurentian. I seen that line in the roof right there, and I told my men, I said, I'm going to make a car out of that, and they all laughed about it. But that week, I went and bought myself, uh, bought my wife a new car and brought that one in and started chopping. And uh, I chopped it up and made my own design of a of a body everyone stops me now and say what is that and especially the older people people that had cars like this in the, in that era they keep saying we're trying to figure out what the what year that is and i said you know it's a 74 pontiac and they said no way it's not a 74 but it's my 74 and my daughter over the years we've always went for a saturday night cruise and i had three different cars to always choose from and i always ask my daughters what car do you want to go for a cruise on Saturday night with? And they always they always said, Dad, let's take the homemade car. So uh, that's what we call it now. It's just the homemade car. <laughs> 
Now this is my final one. This is the one that I like the most. It's the most fun of any. It's a 1979 Spirit. And uh, what I did with this one was uh, I ended up buying two of them. And I never realized when I bought this one, my neighbor right across the street here had another one in his yard that was just sitting there for many years and ended up buying it. So uh, this one had a lot of, lot of graphics, a lot of taping. And I was telling people before, just that back graphics on that one was 14 hours of taping for about five minutes of painting. Oh, also on this one, I added all these lines to it just by welding in small strips of metal. It's just giving it a, giving it a different look. Uh, and then I had a lot of metal left over. And so I ended up forming all the different air induction just uh, to give some air into the, the V8 and that one keep her cool. Yeah, this one had a four cylinder in it and I always like the Chevy with the Muncie. So I ended up putting a, a 350 Chevy in this one with a four speed Muncie. There was a lot of work getting this one to fit in mostly with a, they ended up with the steering column. The headers had to be wrapped around the steering column. So when I was lowering this motor in, I had I kept lowering the motor in, trying to get the steering column to go through everything by myself always, and it made quite a unique uh, challenge. But I think one night I had that engine in and out five times before I got the motor mounts and uh, everything fitted. It's just a really fun car to drive, and it handles so well. But I do enjoy the cars, and so. Uh, I keep joking to everyone saying I hope someday that Jay Leno will catch when did I make these unique cars and hire me to do a car for him where money was no object, there was no budget, and let me just do a, a car that would just stand out beyond everyone's imagination. <laughs> Off we go now to Chicago, Illinois, to the Volo Museum for an up-close look at the RoboCop car. This is a 1986 Ford Taurus from the movie RoboCop. Because of the design of his suit, RoboCop could not get out of the car. The legs of the suit had to be removed so that the actor could get out. Don't go away, there's more SST right around the corner. Don't go away, we've got more street sport television coming your way. Bring back the excitement with these all-new Super Geeks retro video game consoles. Choose from the 600 game NES style or the 621 game SNES style. Super Mario, Street Fighter, Tetris, Pac-Man, and hundreds of other classic video games included. Plug and play on any modern TV and enjoy yesterday's classic games in full high definition. HDMI cable included. Systems come with two controllers. Order now from a real person at 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or order online at supergeeks.tv. That's supergeeks.tv. Don't be fooled by cheaper systems. Super Geeks systems use modern HDMI cables for modern full HD quality. 1-866-248-1490 SuperGeeks.tv SuperGeeks Retro Video Game Consoles Bringing the past into the future Register now for a better way to buy a car at StarkAutoSales.com 
Just click, register for free, and buy where the dealers buy. Hundreds of insurance claim vehicles auctioned every week from Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Calgary, and Edmonton. Visit in person or bid from anywhere online. Stark ships worldwide. Parts cars, rebuildable wrecks, damage-free theft recoveries. Click, register, and save at StarkAutoSales.com. Watch movies, sports, and TV shows with no monthly fees. Get your Super Geeks Android TV box. Simply connect to your TV with the supplied HDMI cable and connect to Wi-Fi. Watch what you want, when you want. On demand in high definition, even 4K. A great alternative to cable, Netflix, satellite, and video rentals. Don't settle for a smart TV. Turn your TV into a genius with a Super Geeks Android TV box. Boxes start as low as $39.99 with full warranty. Pays for itself. Select from thousands of free online shows. We even provide remote service so you'll never be without your TV. Updates itself automatically. 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or order online at supergeeks.tv. That's supergeeks.tv. Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique chevs. No tail fins, we have your parts. Call us toll-free at 1-866-767-2787. Get help from a real person or go to AntiqueChev.com. Download a catalog, order online, delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. Register now for a better way to buy a car at StarkAutoSales.com. Just click, register for free, and buy where the dealers buy. Hundreds of insurance claim vehicles auctioned every week from Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Calgary, and Edmonton. Visit in person or bid from anywhere online. Stark ships worldwide. Parts cars, rebuildable wrecks, damage-free theft recoveries. Click, register, and save at StarkAutoSales.com. Hey friends, welcome back to SST. Every year we go down to Las Vegas, Nevada to the SEMA Auto Show. This event is open to the auto industry, people who, I guess, manufacture aftermarket parts mainly, but it also attracts uh, some of the coolest custom cars from around the world. Case in point, La Bistioni. This is an old La France fire truck that has been customized and the thing really pays tribute to, well, the devil and fire, of course. Here's SST's Maggie Yul with the builder of this very special and very strange old fire truck. I had to stop and take a look at this bad car, rocket ship, truck. I don't know what it is. What is it? It's La Bistione. It's the beast in Italian. What it started off life as was a 1919 American La France fire engine, a triple pumper. And when they went out of service in the late 50s, they uh, most of them were sold off to ranches. And Where so did you find it? Found it in Irvine, California. It had been sitting out in a field that was once part of a big ranch and had been sitting there for 50 years. And we went over and everything was taken off of it over the years, but they'd left the hood and so forth on it. We lifted that up and there's the engine in there. Six cylinder, 900 cubic inches, 14 liters of my God. What was incredible is that when we bought it, I said, hey, there's enough of it here. We've got to save it. It's historically significant. Brought it home and my associate, Andreas Aranda, got the thing running in less than an hour. Well, the first thing I noticed was this giant, what looked like a bike chain on the tire. Like, is that is that is that normal for the well, old uh, fire trucks? Yeah, well, it, it was a well. Originally, most cars had were chain drive, and uh, this is how this one operated. And they did this up through the 30s, the early 30s, because they were so dependable. And this car will do 100 miles an hour. What other modifications have you had to do to the car? What we did is we added power steering to it and and power brakes in the front because if in modern we have to make it so it can be driven in modern driving conditions. Yeah. Can I jump in? Sure. Absolutely. All right, cool. Let's jump in it. Light it up and we're on our way.
We now take you to Denver, Colorado to the Forney Museum with our own Maggie Yole, who takes a look at an antique 1916 Detroit Electric. This is the 1916 Detroit Electric. In its day, it was state of the art. It was an easy car to drive because you didn't have to get out and start it with a hand crank. These cars had limited range, which is why they fell out of favor. These cars didn't have a steering wheel inside. Instead, they had a lever called tiller steering. Today, electric cars are finally making their comeback, and it all started right here. Well, friends, that's all the time we have for today. So until next time, I'm Rick Walker reminding you that when you can't get to the car show, we'll bring the car show to you online at sstcarshow.com. Help us keep car culture alive by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by liking us on Facebook. This has been a Maverick Multimedia production.